In the end, what we want to achieve is to take the, all these young people's amazing experiences and knowledge and move it forward to the world we want, which is the, the fin final kind of civil society document, and then on to Habitat 3 and the new urban agenda. What's critical, what we saw in Habitat 2 and what we saw in Habitat 1, is that young people were fully represented and fully recognized. And we th we're really hoping that that goes to the next step and not just have them represented, but have them as leaders and, and representing the, the work that they're doing. My name is Evoni Kamala from Tanzania and I'm glad to be part of the Urban Thinkers Campus of the United Nations here at Nairobi. It's a great place for me to view, voice my views, to represent all other youth in Tanzania about what kind of cities they want. And it's a great place. I've learned a lot of what the UN is trying to do to build better, regenerative and great cities. Thank you. For me, I believe that uh, the participation of young people is very, very important. Uh, Africa is the youngest continent um, and uh, no matter how many challenges are really going across the continent, it's really affecting uh, young people to a larger extent. And um, so this is a very great opportunity for raising our voices out um, and really participate in uh, policy making and dec decision making. So this is a very, very great uh, platform for us young people. <laughs> For Somalia it's very important, young people is a big part of the population, we're talking about more than 80% of the population under 35, um, and if you think of 26 years of conflict, there is some serious challenges regarding to infrastructure, regarding to public space, and in general does young people not being able to have their voice and be part of rebuilding the country, replanning their cities, so for me it's very exciting to be here. I think the whole discussion about the right to the city is the right discussion to have. That who has the right to the city? And then you begin to ask yourself, what is it that the city needs to do to begin to address the issues of productivity, prosperity, safety and all that? I see a whole lot of role in which youth needs to be included in that discussion. So that the right to the city is not just about human rights and all that, but specifically in terms of providing solutions. I see the Urban Thinkers Campus being one of the avenues through which people, especially the critical mass of the youth, are engaged in trying to bring out some of these solutions. But in light of the challenges I'd shared, I think for me, moving forward as we go towards the Habitat 3 agenda, one of the solutions I'd want to see is where states critically look at their curriculum, their education, because for me I see how you achieve a development, you achieve it much more easier if you have the right education. The other solutions we're talking about, access to finance, come at the end of the pipe. So for me, the, I would challenge developing countries to really relook really at their infrastructure before, uh, their, 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 their sectors before, education sector before, and see is, are we getting it right? That for me would be one of the takeout that states need to get it right.
Council. I'm extremely excited to be part of the Urban Thinkers Campus for two reasons. It tackles the issue of urbanization, which is one of the greatest challenges of our time, but also a phenomenon that uh, presents enormous opportunities. But the second reason is because it deals with uh, young people. It seeks to engage uh, young people, not just as participants, not as uh, speakers, not just as silent recipients, but as thinkers. It means that uh, Urban Thinkers Campus appreciates the ideas, the vision, the values and the greatness of, uh, of young people. Extremely excited to be part of this great initiative. Uh, I think it's good for the youth to come and know more about the issues that the UN habitat is doing. For example, the development programs for uh, giving hand to the smart cities to create and encourage the new business ideas, the new entrepreneurship ideas that the youth came up and to give them hand to uh, invest their ideas and to encourage what the youth came up. That's I think the issue that it's very important that we discuss it in this meeting and or the urban thinkers campus for and I want to share my youth, my Somali youth, when I come when I go back to my country for these great ideas that I met in here. Thank you.